What's going on gamers? I am Merkaba18. Today I have a new video for you in which I'm going to be talking about the brand new season of Marvel Snap that is coming very soon. <clears throat> Got a lot of information to get to. Uh, you're going to see me kind of playing through. I just hit Galactic today uh, on my ranked. There is the deck that you can see right there. We're going to show some of the gameplay as we talk here. We're just going to kind of play a few of these matches and try to grind upward. Uh, so the new season of Marvel Snap will be coming in one week and a few days as of the filming of this video. So essentially what you're going to see is it's going to center around the X-Men. And there's a lot to talk about with that. So the new featured locations are going to be uh, sort of kept under wraps. I haven't had any information about those yet. Look for updates as we get them for that. But what you're going to see is the... Season Pass is going to have Nimrod, which is a brand new card being added to the game. Nimrod will uh, place two copies of itself on either side or other locations if you destroy the card. So when you destroy Nimrod, it puts a copy on the other two zones away from where it was. Uh, it's going to be pretty strong, I think, for Carnage or Destroyer style decks, perhaps, uh, especially like if you put down Nimrod and then hit Destroyer at the very end, you'll get two free copies of a five power, five energy card. Um, that's going to sort of play out really, really strong for a lot of these Carnage decks. I also think there's a number of other cards being added that are going to sort of make the Carnage and Destruction style decks the strongest of the season. Uh, there are a couple of cool variants as well. There's one coming for Wolverine. Uh, there's one coming for Sentinel as well. Uh, some cool variants, obviously, with Nimrod in the Season Pass, as always. Uh, and you're going to see uh, tons of cool uh, new cards added as well. There's one that's called Kitty Pride. It's going to be a mid-season update. It's one energy, two power. It's going to be able to be returned to your hand with one power extra, with one more power. So it's sort of a uh, play on... It's a little bit of a play on the... Deadpool, as you just saw there. I was trying to think of his name, Deadpool, uh, but it's a little bit different. It obviously doesn't double the power. It just gives, it adds more of it. Uh, you'd have to then obviously replay it every time, but it's a one cost card. So you'll end up uh, with a number of extra added power to it. Uh, Megasonic Teenage Warhead is the other one that you're gonna see. Megasonic Teenage Warrior is three energy, three power. Uh, and his ability or their ability is when a card is played here, destroy that card and this card. So it's going to be sort of a way of preventing people from playing their strongest card on a specific zone. Really strong card. I think it's going to have some really interesting dynamics, uh, especially if somebody plays like their strongest cards uh, before that card flips or if you play it at the end to sort of counter some of the strongest cards in the game. Uh, the other one is going to be Master Mold, and this one's the one I'm most confused about, to be honest with you. Uh, the ability is, it's, first of all, it's three cost, three power. Its ability is to add two Sentinels to your opponent's hand. Uh, the only way that I can see that being sort of useful is a, like maybe a Darkhawk build where you're like adding cards to your opponent's hand. That might be the only way I can see that one being useful. Uh, maybe there'll be some additions to the game later on in the future. Uh, that will make it more useful as well. But it's it's exciting to see uh, Carnage and Destruction style decks making a comeback a little bit. One of my favorite play styles, honestly, is, it, and I, I think it's one that we could have a ton of fun with. What do you all think so uh, of the season in the near future? Uh, hopefully this season we'll end up pushing for Galactic uh, again and down into Infinite. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of this information. Uh, what you think they should do differently. What cards should they nerf next season? Honestly, for me, uh, I would like to see some Hella uh, nerfs and potentially some Galactic nerfs are probably coming. Uh, hopefully, they'll continue to balance the game. And uh, don't forget, I do play this game over on Twitch full-time at Merkaba18, Twitch at Merkaba18. Please remember to subscribe to the channel here. Like the video if you like what you see. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again next time.